Hello friends, welcome back. Today we have another question from physics, and uh, uh, it is good for NEET, JE, and I think and we are in CGC as well. Not so difficult. So let us see the question. The question goes like this: There is some current here, then it goes here, then it goes up to infinity. We need to find the magnitude at origin. Magnitude at origin. These are the options. Okay. So very simply, we can say. Uh, magnitude due to this current and this current at origin it will be zero because it is in the direction of origin. So magnitude due to any current in the direction of that point it is zero, right? Magnitude due to any current in the direction of that point is zero. So we are only left with this current. Now if you see, uh, plane is like this and there is a current like this. So due to this current the magnitude will be. Perpendicular to the line joining it, that means magnetic field in the this direction. Magnetic field will be perpendicular. This magnetic field due to this current will be perpendicular to yeah the line joining uh, the point and the current. That means magnetic field one component will be minus i and another in plus k. So from that we have only one option I think minus i plus k this option yeah. So that's all the things gets cancelled. First thing. Second thing is the distance from here to here is how much? Two way. So magnetic fields magnitude will be how much? Mu not i by four pi r into sin alpha plus sin theta. Now if you see from this point, from this point up to the current, one angle is zero and another angle is ninety. One angle is zero in the same direction and another is uh, you know till the bottom. Infinity that is ninety. That means sine zero plus sine ninety. So this should be the magnitude, and the magnitude also matching here. The magnitude of minus i plus k is root two. So if you cancel root two, this only remains. So by magnitude and direction, you have only one option that is correct. So very simple question, and so this was the question asked by all of the students as well. And I asked, uh, you know, I just solved it on board for all of you. Uh, that's it. So it was simply based on one formula that is mu you know, naught by four pi r sin alpha plus sin theta, which comes from you know uh, pi x over two. So that's it for today. If you have any doubts in the question, you can write in the comments. Share this video with all your friends. We'll meet in the next class. Keep practicing. All the best.